After countless movies and television dramas, live cameras in the courtroom and extensive news coverage, we sort of know what to expect in a court of law these days. At least that's what the defense lawyer in this next murder trial thought until he defended Robert Miller and experienced the strangest day in court he had ever seen. There he was, my client. The manicure, the fancy jewelry. Why would a man like Robert Miller commit murder? No client of mine had ever been found guilty, but this one was going to be tougher than most. The lady DA was making her case now, and I had to advise Miller to keep calm. Mr. O'Neill, what is your position at the Yacht Club? I am the head custodian at the Calabash Yacht Club. And on the day in question, what were the weather conditions? It was a storm coming in. I tried to warn Mr. Miller, but he wouldn't listen. That was his way. So Mr. Miller took a boat out knowing a storm was coming? Yeah, he said they'd be back in a couple hours and not to worry. They being Mr. Robert Miller and Elizabeth Warren, the deceased? Yes. What was their demeanor? Uh, pardon? Um, were they getting along? Oh, they were happy, like they were celebrating. How could you tell? A uh, lady had a big bottle of champagne and she was drinking. And the defendant? No, he was sober. Uh, Mr. Miller never drank. Did Mr. Miller come back within a couple of hours? Oh, yeah. Was Elizabeth Warren with him? Uh, no, ma'am. What did he tell you had happened? Uh, he said that Ms. Warren had fallen overboard. He was pretty upset. Uh, but Mr. Miller said he went in after her and he couldn't find her. So his clothes were wet? Yes, they were. Oh, the cause of death was not from drowning. How do you know? We found no water in her lungs. What was the cause of death then, Dr. Harding? Blunt trauma to the head. As if someone had hit her? Uh, I object. The prosecution is asking the coroner to make a conclusion. Sustained. I'll ask it another way. Is it your testimony, Dr. Harding, that Elizabeth Warren was dead before she hit the water? Yes. Order. Order. Proceed, Mr. Montgomery. Your Honor, I call Mr. Robert Miller to the stand. How long had you and Elizabeth Warren been business partners? Uh, nearly 20 years. We were just out of college. And you were close? Inseparable. We were not only business partners, we were best friends. And why on the day of September 23rd did you and the deceased go out on the boat? I got rid of that. Mr. Miller? Uh, pardon? Why were you and Elizabeth Warren on the boat, Mr. Miller. Ah, we were uh, celebrating the acquisition of Quintel, the computer software company. And uh, how would you describe your feelings on that day? It was the happiest day of our lives. <laughs> Mr. Miller, are you all right? Yeah, uh... I'm sorry. This has just uh, been a very difficult time for me. I understand, sir. Mr. Miller, the prosecution is trying to make the case that you killed your friend and business partner. Did you? I could never do that. Mr. Miller, I think we've covered all we need to cover right now. I can understand how upsetting it is to be accused of murdering your partner and friend of 20 years. I have no more questions. Your witness. Mr. Miller, you say that Elizabeth Warren was your best friend, but yet it was widely reported that she was going to start a new company, get out from under your shadow. No, that's ridiculous. She needed me more than I needed her. They're not going to buy it, Robert. They all know you're lying. Why are you lying, Robert? I'm not lying. You would have been nothing without me. What do you mean she would have been nothing without you? Mr. Miller. I'm sorry. Uh, I meant we were a team. Uh, Elizabeth was the 
idea person and I was the sales guy. Sounds to me like you would have been nothing without her. It's all starting to unravel, Robert. No, it's not. I won't let it. Who are you talking to, Mr. Miller? Your Honor, I request a recess. I must confer with my client. This is it, Robert. No one believes you. They all know you killed me. And your next stop is the gas chamber. Stay away from me! Oh, I'm going to the gas chamber! You always did this! Order. You always! You always did Your Honor, Order. this is an outrage! I must insist that my client's right to get self-criminated and be protected! Order! Order! I put an end to that, didn't I, Elizabeth? <laughs> the people rest, Your Honor. So easy. I got you, Elizabeth. Will the defendant please rise? In the case of the People versus Robert Elgin Miller, what find you? We find the defendant, Robert Elgin Miller, not guilty by reason of insanity. Robert Miller, I'm releasing you to the custody of the State Psychiatric Hospital at North Point. You will remain there until such time as you are deemed mentally competent. Bailiff? I'll be back. I'll get out. You'll see. Was he really insane? That's not my call. No client of mine has ever been found guilty. Was it strained nerves or a guilty conscience that trapped the killer? Or did Robert actually see the woman he murdered? Now, prior to taking the stand, he seemed perfectly calm and collected, yet moments later he was carrying on bizarre conversations with an unseen presence. Or perhaps it was all just a clever ploy to avoid the death penalty. Fiction or inspired by actual events? You'd be the judge. Fact or fiction? We'll find out at the conclusion of tonight's show. Next, a visit to the country turns into an experience that's beyond belief.